Now, a major problem as an entrepreneur is phones stealing your focus. They are absolutely raping your attention. Hey, supercharged entrepreneurs, in this video, I'm gonna show you seven proven iPhone hacks to supercharge your focus and potentially make you a hundred grand or more annually. My name's Mark Dharma, I'm high performance coach to entrepreneurs. I help you look, feel, and perform at your best so you can grow your business faster without the burnout. If you're an entrepreneur, subscribe to my channel. If not, do not subscribe. Phones are designed by very smart people and apps are designed by extremely smart PhD people all with the intention of getting you addicted to using the app. All right, so this is stealing hours a day from your attention, from your focus, from your life. When you are focused on what you need to do to grow your business, you're gonna make more money. It's very simple, okay? The more you focus on the major things that's gonna move the needle in your business, you're gonna make more money. The problem is phones and apps are designed to steal your attention, to put it into them instead of your business. This is costing you money in your business. This is costing you in your relationships with your family, with your spouse, with your children. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the seven iPhone hacks that you can use to eliminate these distractions so you can focus on what's actually important for you. Now these hacks, some of them I've come up with myself, some of them I've learned from my clients who are making multi-million dollars plus on what they do to make sure that they can focus on their business and on their most important tasks rather than getting raped by the phone. This is extremely important because Research has shown that every time you get distracted, your focus on one thing and your attention goes to something else and you bring it back, it can take up to 23 minutes to actually fully get back into the flow state of what you was doing. 23 minutes. Now, people are picking up the phone 50, 60 times a day. You can check on yours how often it is, but it's, it's a lot. So most of the day, you're just getting pinged around by your phone rather than focusing on the main thing that's gonna grow your business. This is costing you thousands of dollars. As an entrepreneur, you wanna be focusing on work that gives you an ROI of $1,000 an hour plus. Looking at your phone isn't really doing that. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna share my phone screen so you can see exactly what to do on your phone. So watch the video, pause the video, make the changes on your phone as you go along. First five hacks are gonna be shown by my assistant Eric, and then the last two hacks, I'm gonna show you my new iPhone because there'll be some new updates that you can use to help you keep your focus. The last one that I'm gonna share is also gonna help improve your sleep too. So watch this video, apply all of them. You're gonna get benefits from this absolutely immediately. Day one, you're gonna have more focus, less distractions. If you find benefits from this, which I'm absolutely sure you will, share it with this video with your entrepreneur friends so that they can too reclaim their focus and make more money faster without getting distracted all the time, okay? So let's get into this right now. I'm gonna pass it over to Eric. He's gonna show you the first five steps. Hi, this is Eric from Supercharged Entrepreneurs, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to eliminate all unnecessary and non-urgent distractions from your smartphone so that you have more time, focus, and clarity for the highest leverage tasks in successfully running your business. As a general rule of thumb, you wanna eliminate everything that drains your energy and or is worth less than $1,000 an hour of your valuable time. The goal is to be in full control of your own business and your life, instead of unconsciously letting your phone run you throughout the day, as most people do. I'm gonna be demonstrating everything here on my iPhone, but all of these features should be available in the settings menu of most modern smartphones, even if you have another type of device. Tip number one is to turn on Do Not Disturb. From your iPhone home screen, tap on the settings menu. Then scroll down a section and tap on Do Not Disturb in the center. Turn it on and this box will turn green. Two sections below that, under silence, I have it checked under always because I like to be in full control of when I check my missed calls, messages, and notifications, rather than allow my attention throughout the day to be bombarded by loud pings and banners, which completely destroys your focus and peace of mind. Beneath this section where it says phone, you can decide who to allow calls from when do not disturb is turned on. 
Personally, I have it set to allow calls from no one so I can check and respond when it's convenient for me. If you absolutely must, you may click inside and select favorites, which allows you to accept calls from certain individuals such as an immediate family member or a trusted assistant that knows only to reach you in an emergency for something extremely urgent and important. Lastly, you can always manually turn your do not disturb on or off from any screen by swiping up and tapping the moon icon. When it's blank like this, that means it's off. And when it's highlighted, that means it's on. Tip number two is to set up your voicemail to automatically filter for the most important matters and have all callers direct their queries to an email inbox monitored by your assistant. To do this, tap the phone icon at the bottom of your home screen, then the bottom right corner where it says voicemail, then greeting in the top left corner, select custom and tap record. Here's a script we recommend, courtesy of Sam Ovens. Hey, thanks for calling. I never check my voicemails, so please don't leave one. If this is extremely important, please email me at insert assistance email with a concise message and my assistant or I may or may not respond back to you. Thank you. Upon completion, click stop, then save, and you're done. Since your time is extremely valuable, doing so forces people to only message you with the absolute most important subjects. Finally, have your assistants go through email at this inbox and bring only the most important items that they or other members of your team cannot solve on their own and absolutely demands your attention or supervision. Tip number three is to turn off most, if not all your notifications, except for the most important ones that you care about. One of the most innocuous ways for your attention to get distracted is on the lock screen when waking up your iPhone. Here's how I prevent it. Inside the settings menu, scroll down to notifications and give it a tap. First, I'm going to use Messenger as an example for non-urgent and non-important correspondence. When you tap inside, I simply have all notifications turned off using this top button. Now, if you go back for messages, however, just above it, I, again, I tend to get more important messages that I choose to check regularly. Therefore, I do have notifications turned on, but I check everything and only allow it in the notification center like this. That way, I'm never unwillingly taken from what I'm focusing on, and I can easily see what I received at any time by scrolling down from the top of the screen and glancing at the notification center. Tip number four is to limit social media. As many of you know, social media can be a huge time waster and actually cost your business money if too much unnecessary time is spent on there. In fact, many studies in recent years have shown the detrimental effects of social media for causing attention shortage, depression, and a whole host of other negative effects. The best way to prevent this entirely is to simply delete the apps off your phone. Now, a common objection we receive from entrepreneurs is that they need it for their business. If this is the case for you, ask yourself if you can delegate it to an assistant or a social media manager. If the time you spend on social media is worth less than $1,000 an hour for your business, let them do it so you can focus on the higher impact areas of your business worth $1,000 an hour or more. Finally, if you must run social media yourself, here's how we suggest doing it. Go to the settings menu, scroll down and select screen time. Then select the second option that says app limits. Click add limit, enter your passcode, then tap social networking, select the apps you want to limit and click next. Set time to the absolute maximum time you will allow yourself on these apps and click add. From now on, your social media apps will be blocked each day when you hit this time limit. The great news is, we know from Parkinson's law that work naturally expands or contracts at the time allotted for its completion. Therefore, you will now get more done than before in even less time. Tip number five, the ultimate solution is to use a flip phone. 
If you're unable to switch to a flip phone, leave your phone off for a set window of time during the workday. For example, turn your phone off and leave it in another room between the hours of 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. That way, it is out of arm's reach and you won't even have to fight the temptation. Now you can fully focus on the most important tasks for your business. Bonus tip. Do a social media fast for 24 hours to 30 days to let your mind relax and see just how trivial and non-essential most of these communications are. You can delegate and have your assistant continue to monitor and respond on your behalf during this time. After your social media fast, you'll likely feel a lot more clear-headed and focused. All right, this is Mark again. I'm gonna show you two more powerful iPhone hacks, one being the most powerful hack to protect your focus. So here we go. The first one you do is you go to settings. Boom, 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 boom. This is actually my wife's phone. I use an Android. And then we're gonna to go to downtime. So type in downtime, you'll see it right here. Downtime is the most powerful setting. And this means only certain apps and phone calls will be available during downtime. You want your downtime to be ideally every day, but you can customize the days. You want it to be most of the time, meaning the only time downtime isn't on is when you intentionally want to use your phone. Remember, the whole idea of this is that you don't use your phone, that you're focusing your attention on things that matter, growing your business, spending time with your family, your children, your spouse, working out, doing your health, important things that matter. You want to limit your phone time as much as possible. If this was my phone, for example, it's my wife, I have my kids from 4 p.m. each day. So I want downtime definitely to be from four because I'm with my kids and I don't want to be messing about with my phone and get to bed about nine, up at six, working on my most important things all the way till about 12. I don't want to be dis disturbed. So in fact, the only times I'm really using my phone is between 12 and 4 p.m., four hours. That's what works for me. Now, obviously you figure it out for you, but that's what works for me. So once you've figured out, hey, this is the only times I really wanna be using my phone, great, put that in. Then you're gonna to go to commu communication limits. And then this setting during downtime is probably gonna say all people, I mean that all people can still disturb you. Click on that, click specific contacts, and then put the only people that you want to contact you during that time. Might be a business partner, maybe not. Might be your spouse, might be your children, just really, just people you are okay with disrupting your focus during your deep work and with your kids, etc. Everybody else, turn it off. They're going to go to they're going to go to their uh, your voicemail, which you've set up, telling people what to do. Now, the final hack I want to share with you here is again in screen time. This is going to protect your eyes. So we go back to settings. It's actually not in screen time. It's called night shift display and brightness so the night shift this is going to remove a lot of the blue light out of the phone not all of it you still want to use a blue light blocking glasses but maybe 50 percent set the color temperature all the way to more warm set your schedule and you want the screen you want the night shift to come on when the sun goes down so it's actually summer right now so us uh, this oh, here you go it's easy for you click sunset to sunrise done this is going to pull out the blue light, allowing you to get to sleep faster and easier. So those are the seven hacks plus bonuses. So there you have it. Seven ways you can eliminate distractions for your phone so you can increase your focus, put it into your business and make a lot more money. Really get more things done, have a greater impact. And look, if you're an entrepreneur, you want to look, feel, perform at your best, you want to increase your energy, you want to increase your focus and results, book a free call with me and my team by clicking the link below, scheduling the time. And on this free coaching call, we'll help you improve your performance. We'll also share the other programs that we have available specifically for entrepreneurs to help you build the habits that it takes to unlock your potential and essentially your business faster without the burnout. At Supercharger Entrepreneurs, 
We love entrepreneurs and we know that entrepreneurs make the biggest impact in this world. You're the people who are going to change the world by unlocking your potential, by allowing you to really fulfill your dreams. I believe the world is going to be a better place. So book a free call and let us help you get there faster.